Hey guys, it's Beaverman8675 and this is Keeping It COVID here. It's a new segment of mine. I'm uh, Beaverman8675, obviously, and here with my guest, Sam the Mule. Merry Christmas. Some of you might know him as a super fan here, uh, like many of my fans, because they're the only ones around. Anyways here, Samuel, we'll get you started off here. Yeah, you live on Golden Lake, so uh, you, uh, I hear, I know, you've uh, built an ODR. How's that going? You know, it's pretty good rank. Uh, it's about like, you know, big. It's got 100 feet by 100 feet. Pretty big rank. That's you a know, big rank. It's rained about like 30 feet of rain. 30 so, feet. It's a lot of smooth ice out there. Great lake, you know. This is uh, actually pretty great. Um, we're going to go into uh, talking about Golden Lake here for the reserve. Um, uh, as I know, because I played in the league as well, your boy. Um, uh, you actually did pretty well in the, the reserve league. Do you want to tell me about uh, how, how well you did? Well, you might know this is bling on my finger. That's our championship ring. You know, you see that? <laughs> we were champs. I mean, I don't mean to brag, but Jerry Benwell asked us to join this league, and we clapped it. But yeah, yeah I was dropping at least 60 points a game. At least 15 rebounds. Did I pass? No. Zero assists. But then I got hurt. I had a coach. And I took this kid and the rest of the team. I made them in a championship. I won them a championship as a coach. And now I have this ring. Championship ring. Surprisingly, we did better whenever we didn't play. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, I carried them. Talking about games here, Samuel. Um, uh, just a question off the top of my head. Came to me. Not from my producers. Um, what's your favorite board game? Since, uh, I don't know about yourself, but I've been playing a ton of board games over this, uh, break. Skull. It's a pretty good board game. There's skulls. There's lots of backstabbing and sabotage and psychological warfare going on there. Pretty good game. That's actually a great answer, and, uh, unfortunately for the Felskis, uh, he wasn't there to play, but we played a shit ton of skull. And I can say that here. Now, we're gonna get on to, because some of our viewers are actually from this area. What do you feel about the fruit? It's got a good movie theater. That's it. The O'Brien. Some pretty bad waitresses, but that's it. That's all I gotta <laughs> say about it. <laughs> Speaking of things that are bad, Brandon's basement. How many kids do you think are down there? 1738. I'm like, hey, what's up, wall? Well, that, folks, is a great answer. Love it. And a lot higher than most of the other rooms. <laughs> But it's anyways, a big basement, man. I'm, I don't know. I'm, I'm driven by it, but as the, we, none of us have actually seen it. So I mean, that's that's fair in there. I don't know what that says. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, a lot of our friend group here has played D and D and gotten into D and D. You have uh, have not. Not to not of your own fault. Um, if you were invited, would you play D and D? And what do you think your class or race or how do you think your backstory might go if you were into D and D? Oh, I'd for sure play D&D, and I'd definitely be a fighter. Um, I'd be a 12-foot-tall goblin, because that's just badass. And, and you'd be green. Yeah. And uh -huh. you know, be green. I'd be able to slap Spider-Man around, because, you know, green goblin. But yeah. <laughs> that's pretty funny, folks. That's one for you at home. Um, uh, Samuel, you play a lot of sports. You're in a lot of things. Most athletes have a, have a music playlist. Is there uh, certain songs, or maybe certain artists, or even a genre that you would listen to the most? Nothing beats Shania Twain's greatest hits. Nothing. My sister, mother, and all the women's uh, side uh, love it. And you know what? I love it too, because fuck, Shania Twain is great. Shania Twain, not Shania Crane. Don't, don't breathe into that. Um, we're going to get into it here, because my producers are feeding me fucking questions. <laughs> They're at the yin-yang. Favorite... Mo uh, Marvel movie, if you had to pick one. I know there's a lot of them, and I know there's going to be a lot of debate, because a lot of my fans are pretty pretty aggressive on here. So uh, think of it wisely. You can't beat Thor Ragnarok. Fucking great question. Best Thor Answer. Movie. Just great comedy. Got some great action. You That's know. great. And you know what? I love that you didn't say Iron Man, because you know what? Fuck Iron Man. Fuck that franchise. He sucks. Iron Man sucks. You heard it here first. That's a great... That's a great fucking comment. Fuck you! <laughs> Do you hear something? Because I don't. I didn't hear anything either. Now, I know it's been uh, rough in COVID. Is there anything that you've been uh, doing to keep busy or keeping it COVID, as I might say? I've been uh, on sticks playing Call of Duty Warzone. How's that going for you? Got 
2.7 KD ratio. That's Six amazing. 20. If you had a, a loadout or a class, maybe for some of our fans that are trying to keep up. Well, right lately I've been playing with the M13 AX50, but the DMR is slapping me. So, as I think we all know, you gotta get the DMR going. Now, whenever you drop, are you someone that picks where you're gonna drop, or you just follow? That's an important question. I always pick. It's always prison or yonder yard. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> Now, we're going to get on to this here because I know you're an important man. We'll finish up the interview here. Um, the friend group. Now, there's a lot of us, but is there anything you'd want to say to the friend group? To the ones in Scotland, out of duty. <laughs> Maddie, Nicole's, what's up? up? Cam George, come home, please. We need you back. Um, and the Apalskis. Jacob, you're cool. Ryan, stay away, please. <laughs> oh, he got him hard fucking there. Now, to finish this up here, Samuel, so I know you're starting your young life off right now. Where do you think you're going with life? Where are you going to end up? NBA general manager, no question. NBA general manager, that's a great high hope. Where do you think? The most garbage team in the NBA, New York Knicks. I'll take them to Dynasty franchise. Great start. Now, whenever you take over GM, GM role, I'm going to ask you, are you clean house or are you going to try and do just, you're going to try and keep your raw bones, I guess I should say, your bare bones of the franchise and build up or are you just wiping it clean? I don't care where LeBron is, I don't care how old he is, I'm bringing him in. That's a terrible one. LeBron answer. wins championships. <laughs> Even if he's 68. Now, you heard it here, folks. Uh, that'll be the end of this interview. That's Sam Lee Mule. I'm Beer Man. I'm Beer Man 8675. Keep it going.